Hey, welcome back to Real World Climbing. And in this video, we're checking out another home wall. So I'm heading to Nevada for my son's gymnastics meet. And I have the opportunity to meet a fellow home wall owner named Logan out there. So this is gonna be a little bit of a road trip. Was gonna climb with him, but ended up breaking my hand in a training session, smacking my hand up against a hold. And they have what's called the boxer's break. And so, won't be able to climb, but I think we'll be able to do some route setting and definitely check out this epic home wall. I think you'd be pretty excited about seeing Logan's wall. There's something unique about Logan's home wall that I haven't seen much of, and so I think you'd be pretty interested in seeing it. And so I'll keep the intrigue there, but we'll uh, head to Nevada. Let's go. Well, we're getting really close to Logan's house. I'm getting more and more excited. I really think you're gonna find this wall unique. So we're here and we're gonna check out Logan Peterson's wall. This is Logan. Howdy. And uh, we're actually in Logan's shop here. And this is where Logan was intending on building a wall at first. So why don't you share a little bit about like what your idea was and then how we eventually moved over. So originally the last, the project for the last two years, two and a half years has been building my own house from the ground up and my, myself and my family have been doing everything. And originally it was gonna be in my metal shop because I do uh, high-end metal art on the side of being an engineer. Mm -hmm. And it was gonna be originally in here. Mom had a good point of, uh, I might outgrow this space really quickly. So we ended up, you'll see it in a little bit, the uh, wall and the other, in the larger spot. It's uh, it grew a little. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm an internationally collected metal artist. I do high-end metal art. I've been to the Arizona Fine Art Expo. I've sold art in the New York Art Expo. I have a gallery that showcases some of my work in Scottsdale and a couple here locally. You can see some of my work at facebook.com, Peterson Metal Art. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. All right, so we're gonna head over to the real climbing, what you guys came to this video for, but do check out his art. I'll put some uh, some of the pieces that I'm seeing around his house and it's phenomenal. So, but we're gonna head over and check out the actual climbing wall now. So this is the wall and I told you on the way here that it's probably something pretty unique and it's 18 feet tall, two auto blaze and I don't know, it's just epic. <laughs> 18 foot home wall. Why did you decide to build it? I grew up rock climbing outside. My parents introduced me before I could walk. They were hiking me up a, you know, the outdoors before I was in, a, in the basket basically. So uh, it's been part of my life ever since. It really took off in college though. They had a little rock wall in the, what was called the Lombardi gym and I used to climb every day. I was my, I would go to the gym, climb and get my release, just relax, good exercise. And senior year I ended up setting for them and maintaining the wall, but it was a huge passion. And then I moved back here cause I love this valley where we live. And then the closest gym from here is close to an hour away. This was the end result of uh, a little bit of effort and it's, it's getting quite a bit of use. It's been fun. And so you settled on the barn. Yeah, there, like, like we said, it was original idea was to be in there where it could be heated. Mom thought I would uh, outgrow it pretty darn quickly and uh, I'm inclined to agree. It was originally gonna be in there with some big pads, but we were able to score some auto blaze and that really opened up the opportunity to set something a little higher. Yeah, so these are, so I was able to purchase three used auto blaze. One uh, we're using for eventual parts if anything goes wrong with the other two. 
but these are originally they're a hydraulic pulley system for commercial use very expensive but we were able to snag them for almost 100 bucks a piece so i um was stoked <laughs> yeah that's a deal of a century yeah very much so it's uh being on a budget you scrounge and get what you can so so then, yeah, while we're back here, we kind of get this snapshot of the framing here. So the two by six framing, and I mean, what is that, 20 feet? Yeah, just, uh, the, we had to chop off a little bit at the top for this side, it would hit the roof, but yeah, they're 20 foot long sections. Raced up, I purchased over, I think, 4,000 T-nuts. And hammered them all in, huh? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a couple days worth of shoulder workout. Yeah. <laughs> and a tight grid, so you have lots of options for... Put as many holes as you can. Yeah, you'll want them a lot. You'll want them, so I try to get good spacing, but not go overboard and make it Swiss cheese. And you went with quality plywood too, so this is like furniture grade almost, isn't it? Yeah, it's a uh, fitness ply on the front, so three quarter... Sanded it all down, and beveled the edges. And... So you got your hangboard as well. Yep. That's awesome. That's so cool. So like my wall, you guys have seen my wall build and it goes up to about 12 feet, but I mean, 18 feet is, that extra six feet is pretty considerable. I think that it's so unique that there's the, the auto blaze system in here. And just like, you can get a lot more hand moves. Like when, when I do a climb at 12 feet, I might get five or six hand moves, but I'm thinking you probably get 10 hand moves in every single climb. Another fun thing we do is, so there's a group of buddies of mine that co-work, and every Wednesday we come and climb after work, and we do what we call laser routes, mm. and so it's free for, all, free for all for feet, but you have a little laser. Start on one side and we'll point out, okay, you get this hand hold and this hand hold, and then they get their feet, and then, okay, you get that one next, or that one, and so, yeah. and then we go up across, traverse all the way across. You just get really big, long, projects that just burn you out. <laughs> so it's like the stick game, but since your wall is so high, you don't have a stick that will point to something, yeah. so you use the laser pointer. Uh -huh. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> and then did you build these volumes as well? Yeah, so I, so far only built three volumes, looking to do some more. And then I work for, as an engineer for a speaker company, and uh, the moon eyeball and the flower over here, and a few other MDF holes. I made myself as well. Yeah. Well, uh, you made these ones as well. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, these look these look professional. How do you set such a tall wall? Do you hang on the auto blaze and put things in, or use the ladder? I use the ladder. It's easier. Um, I can get about halfway up with a short ladder or makeshift climbing if it's in the corner. Mm -hmm. But after that, it's I use the ladder. It's so much quicker than trying to lay yourself like in a gym and have your gree gree and lock off and then yeah. try to stay close enough to the wall. The one downside of auto blades is they do they pull. pull you. Yeah. So it's like double edged blade is like you don't have to climb into them but you have to battle the cable basically. Yeah. So um, they don't pull you enough. Go <laughs> higher <laughs> <laughs> I need more assistance. get older we just get up and stay active. stay active oh yeah i see climbing as a lifelong activity yeah. like bouldering maybe not so much because you're hard on your knees but like sport climbing is relatively low impact yeah and yeah has it been worth it do you think that it's worth it to build a home wall 100 percent. it's uh if you have the space or the knowledge and the, the resources too and you have a true passion it's a great way to expedite your climbing career and, and experience and technique and it's the, the possibilities are endless. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna close this video out pretty soon here but as promised I will I will climb <laughs> one-handed up, up 18 feet. In case my battery dies or something I want to thank you for opening your gym to us. Yeah I know it was a pleasure thank you for coming. Yeah. <laughs> so. And if you haven't figured out we became friends in this process so no. um, that's what climbers do so.
All right, let's see if we can get this going here. Yeah. Twisting, probably. He is one-handed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's lots of jokes on this. I promise. You know, don't tell my wife, but I promise that I'm not being too wild here. Last night, literally my SD card ran out of space right as I was signing the side of his wall. So, hopefully you enjoyed the addition of some of this Lake Tahoe footage that we got as a serendipity before I closed out this video. So, don't forget to check out Logan's metal art. I'll put a link in the description on how you can see some of his work and even commission him for a project if you want. If you like what's going on here, clip the chains on the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Start here, kind of, the shape of the spot, kind of, the shape of the